What's going on everybody, Noah back here with another YouTube video here today bringing you something a little bit different from my typical live commentary gameplay on the channel. What I'd like to do today is sit down and have a talk with all of you about some of the issues between Call of Duty Mobile and its community. Everything I say in this video will be coming from my own thoughts and opinions. And if any of you disagree with anything that I say, then I would love to have a discussion about it in the comment section. So the first thing that I would like to speak about are two of Call of Duty Mobile's monetization practices. And those are gonna be loot crates as well as lucky draws. The reason this subject is so problematic is because there's issues on both ends. On the business side of things, having this practice in the game questions ethics and on the consumer side, there's a large amount of misconception. So to start this discussion, I want to address the accusations that these microtransactions are scams that are trying to steal your money. The definition of a scam is a dishonest scheme or fraud. Call of Duty Mobile is always honest by posting the probability percentage of you getting a certain item in a certain transaction. They are not tricking or misleading you into spending your money. Therefore, it is not a scam. If you make the decision to spend money on the game, there is no one to blame but yourself. You made the decision, Call of Duty did not make it for you. With that being said, it does highly resemble gambling. The definition of gamble is to play games of chance for money. This is where I feel the ethical question comes into play. Is what Call of Duty Mobile doing wrong? Although in the App Store, this game does have an age rating of 17 and older, these microtransaction practices could still be perceived as promoting underaged gambling. And due to issues like this that probability chance purchases cause, I believe Call of Duty Mobile should do a rehaul on their microtransaction system. What I would like to see personally is an item shop in similar style to Fortnite. Having a store where you can find a specific item for a specific price would be far more consumer friendly and cause less conflict. Moving forward, there's another huge issue we're seeing within this subject, and that is locking new weapons behind these paywalls. For example, here in Season 3, we saw a brand new weapon get added into the game, the HBR A3. It's an assault rifle that so far has only been obtainable through a lucky draw purchase. This means if you wanted to have the weapon at your disposal, you had to spend $1 to $200. And the reason there's no actual price on it is because it falls under that probabilities category. So the question being asked from a gameplay standpoint, is this fair? And in my opinion, regardless of whether or not the weapon is good or bad, it is 100% not fair. The definition of an even playing field is a concept about fairness. Not that each player has an equal chance to succeed, but that they all play by the same set of rules. Again, regardless if the weapon is better or worse, if one player has the option to use it and another doesn't, that creates a level of unfairness. So going back to the HBR discussion, having the option to use it alone is unfair. And then you can take into consideration the fact that it potentially is the best weapon in the game, and this whole conversation gets even more lopsided. So with that being said, I don't think new weapons should be locked behind paywalls. When it comes to new weapons being added into the game, I think we can all agree that there's no problem with coming out with two versions. One version locked behind a paywall that contains this cool skin on it, and another version that gets added into the game completely for free with no skin on it. Regardless of price, I see no problem with pay to skin, but there is always a problem with pay to win. I think what creates an even bigger issue on this subject is the fact that Call of Duty has done a poor job at communicating what exactly they're doing with the new weapons when they add them into the game. When Season 3 released, we saw two weapons, the ICR-1 and the Locust Sniper Rifle, become obtainable through free methods. The ICR was added into the shop where you could purchase it from free COD credits, and the Locust could be unlocked once you hit the Pro 2 division in the multiplayer ranked mode. Now I think I can speak on behalf of the entire community when I say it was a pretty awesome thing to see these previously paid weapons be available for free in the game, but this raised a lot of questions that COD Mobile has still not answered. Are we going to see every new weapon available for free at some point? And if and when we do, how will we be able to unlock them? Are they going to be just put into our inventory? Or is the game going to raise the level cap and we can eventually unlock them through grinding? Or will we have to wait multiple seasons and then get them through some tedious task? And the reason we have no information on this and multiple other subjects is because Call of Duty Mobile does a poor job communicating. And I think this might even be the biggest issue. I think in life in general, communication is the key to everything. The fact that Call of Duty Mobile leaves us in the dark on so many big community questions just shows how much they're lacking. 
For example, there is a huge issue in the game yesterday where if you purchase CP, it wouldn't actually go to your account, but they would take the money from you. And I'll give them credit, it seems like this issue has been resolved and they've paid out all of the CP that they owed, but to think that this has happened over 24 hours ago now and they have not said a single word about it is absolutely mind-blowing. Personally, I went to spend $100 on the game and due to the fact that it kept canceling my purchase, or at least I thought it did, I had spent $300 on the game. Now, I'm not really complaining all that much because as a content creator, eventually I'm going to use that CP. But if I were someone who was on a budget and only had, say, $10 to spend on the game this week and had actually tried to spend $10 of CP five different times, seeing minus $50 in my bank account would be a huge issue. I understand things happen sometimes, but they need to at least address them. So I definitely think Call of Duty Mobile needs to work on its communication skills with the community. Let us know when these Battle Royale events are happening. Let us know when you're releasing new skins. Let us know if these weapons that you're releasing for paid players only are eventually going to come out for free. In Season 3, we were promised two new maps and we've only gotten Scrapyard so far. The season's passed halfway over and we still have no idea what's going on with Cage. And all of these issues that have the community riled up and questioning whether or not they should continue playing the game could simply be answered by a few tweets. Before Season 4 releases, send us a roadmap picture. Give us dates on when we're getting these new content updates. It's really that simple. With that being said, whether or not you're a paying player or a free playing player, Call of Duty Mobile has done an excellent job at releasing new content. Since launch, we've seen holiday themed maps, new maps, new operator skills, new guns, new score streaks, as well as so many new cosmetic items. On top of that, zombies have been implemented into the game, and there's been a lot of new content added to the Battle Royale mode. And even though they've done such a great job with all these updates, there's still one game mode in particular I feel like they haven't done enough with, and that is the ranked mode in multiplayer. As it stands right now, all they've done is changed the amount of score it takes to win matches and reworked their ranked point system. Since season one, a lot of players have been asking for a different rule set for the ranked mode. The reason for this is to create a more competitive environment. For example, a lot of the top ranked players would love to see trip mines removed, ACOG on snipers, certain operator skills, score streaks like the UAV, and even some would love to see weapons banned like the S36, or for example, a DLC weapon like the HBR. In past Call of Duty titles, whenever they had a ranked mode, they would do just this. Again, by doing so, they would be creating a more competitive environment, which would eventually drive the esports scene. Speaking of which, that is another huge subject that people are wondering about. We all know having an esports scene drives players to want to compete and be the best. Having big money tournaments would drive new viewers and new players to the game. It would give incentive to practice and grind hours and hours each day, which is something at the moment I'd feel like the game is lacking. I definitely feel like behind the scenes they are working on creating an esports scene, but the reason nothing has been said about it yet might just be another one of their communication issues. Back to the subject of having incentive to grind for hours, something that could fix this issue would be to have actual challenges added into the game. I'm not just talking about their simple, meaningless battle pass challenges. I mean something more fun like weapon challenges that we've seen in past Call of Duties. For example, getting like 50 headshots with a weapon will unlock you a skin, or getting 100 kills with no attachments. Just small little things that we can feel accomplished after doing. It seems to be leaked that we might be getting something like this in Season 4, with all the talks about Diamond camo. Another one that the community has strongly been asking for is prestiging. This is something that I personally would really love to see because I hit the level cap after like a week of the game being out. With all that being said, considering Call of Duty Mobile has not even been out for five months yet, it is still a very young game with tons of room for improvement. I think the key in order for this game to be successful is simple. Engage with your community. While yes, COD Mobile may have released one of the most revolutionary games in the mobile gaming scene, the game would be nothing without the players. So to close out today's video, if there's anyone watching from the Call of Duty team, I have a few words. Please learn to clearly communicate with your community. If there is a known issue in the game that's being worked on and improved, please let us know. It's not shameful to have bugs or glitches in your game. If there are questions that you see in the community constantly being repeated, answer them. Just don't leave us in the dark. With that being said, everyone, that's going to go ahead and do it here for my little spiel. Let me know in the comments section if you have anything else to add on. And with that being said, I hope we see improvements on both ends. Thank you all for listening. That's going to do it for me, and I'll catch you all in the next one.